Young Liberals and Democrats of Asia. I've been tasked to be the MC for tonight. I guess it's part of my job for uh, according to our bylaws and constitution to be the Canadian MC. So allow me first to recognize our, our friends here with us. We have uh, His Excellency Dr. Surin Mitsuan. Senator Mar Rojas. Honorable Franklin Lidon. Honorable Muchabat. Governor Raul Daza. Dr. Wilfrido Villacorta. Former Senator Wilberto Tallan. Ambassador Marilyn Alarilla. Honorable Erin Tanyada. Honorable Ruki Biazo. Former Agrarian Reform Secretary Rene Villa. Likewise, uh, Mr. Sidney Herzog, the country representative of the foundation, uh, would like to send his regrets. He's now in uh, Germany, uh, recharging and uh, getting his uh, annual address from uh, his work here. Likewise, my co-host, my, my co-MC, Dr. Nelly Acosta, <laughs> our uh, expert on international affairs, is actually arriving at 8 o'clock. Uh, he, uh, he texted me from Hong Kong that, uh, to inform our, our guest, especially our uh, special guest for tonight, that he's, uh, he should be here in, in due time. Uh, likewise, probably as a as the MC, I would also like to, to brief our our honorable guest of what the latest uh, national issues, so at least he would, he would know how uh, people would react or uh, adjust, at least he would know what the, the current issues are. Recently, we had a uh, typhoon Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, probably if you hear the, the papers, I mean the papers, sorry, um, especially the, the, the passenger vessel, where uh, I estimated to have uh, 700 passengers sunk in a uh, barely quarter have uh, been uh, recovered and identified. Likewise, course, another national issue was the uh, kidnapping of Mrs. Brilon. Also, also reflected of uh, uh, our problems are in, in the South, considering a uh, very respectable media men uh, are, are subject to kidnapping. So basically, two national incidents. Typhoon Frank and Drilon <laughs> Two key words, Frank and Drilon. And our current chairman, Senator Frank Drilon, has nothing to do with it. And now for our president of the party, Senator Maro Has, to give his welcome remarks. I'm going to call the circumstance. I'll be using it quite a lot when you see me. But I'd like to uh, welcome our very good friend, esteemed uh, colleague, a man who has been known to us, uh, liberals here in the Philippines and liberals all over Asia as well, as someone who we all look up to. And now he has uh, ascended to the job, a big job, of being the Secretary General of the uh, ASEAN, Dr. Suri Mitsuma. Let's give him a hand. I first met uh, Dr. Suri uh, when I was a member of the Liberal Party and he came over on one of the visits representing our own party uh, from Thailand, Democrats of, uh, of Thailand. Subsequently, I, we ran uh, into each other on a number of 
this ASEAN 100 leaders uh, forum that uh, transpired in a number of the capitals here in, in ASEAN. And uh, you were all very happy to know in the last one that uh, he was now uh, nominated and accepted by the leaders as the new Secretary General of ASEAN. As a member of ASEAN, the Philippines is very keen in ensuring that this be a successful uh, enterprise. In fact, the leaders plan to ratify, plan to uh, approve the so-called ASEAN Charter in the next uh, ASEAN Leaders Forum, uh, which is uh, happening towards the end of this year. This is a very important agreement that the country will be ascending into. And we must be very, very active and engaged in the whole process of understanding and ensuring that our interests are preserved within this family of 10 ASEAN nations. We look forward to the leadership of uh, Dr. Surin, a Secretary General of ASEAN, to ensure precisely that the ASEAN concept of consensus, decision making by consensus, is uh, preserved. Because uh, within ASEAN, within the 10 nations of ASEAN, there really is a large, wide disparity in the economic, political, and social development of each of these nations. And we're very, very comfortable, comforted by the fact that Dr. Sunin will be at the forefront of this efforts in the approval of and in the processing of this uh, ASEAN charter. With that, I want to again welcome uh, Dr. Sunin. Uh, you are here among friends, liberal friends uh, in the Philippines, and uh, we look forward to continuing our close working relationship uh, with you. Thank you.